Hi, this is JB from No The Lights Over Arkham. Uh, we are concluding our series of the playthroughs with two-handed play on the Galaxy's Most Wanted expansion scenarios. We are playing this time against Ronan the Accuser and using uh, Rocket Raccoon and Groot pre-built decks straight out of the box. So we are playing on standalone. I am not using any of the campaign rules for the setup, so we are just playing the um, out-of-the-box scenario as it is on standard difficulty so that we can see how the mechanics work and uh, can get some idea of the difficulty of the scenario. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so most of the setup is already done. I already uh, put the Cree command ship environment and the Milano support into play and also attached the universal weapon to Ronan the accuser and attached the power stone onto the first player. And now we just need to add the threat and we start with two threat per uh, player. The threshold is 7 per player, so 14 for this first, and uh, the threat advances uh, 2 per player each round, so uh, we add 4, so that, that's important because sometimes I forget to multiply if it's more than 1, so uh, that's a good thing to notice. Let's look at the Ronan the Accuser first a bit. So uh, Ronan uh, has two scheme and two attack and comes into play with toughness and uh, forced interrupt when Ronan the accuser activates against you give him one additional boost card if you control the power stone and as you can see we start the game uh, with the power stone so uh, the first player has control of the power stone which gives us boosts and uh, if the villain hits us hard enough the power stone goes to the villain and vice versa. Ronan comes into play with the universal weapon upgrade or attachment. Uh, it attaches to Ronan the accuser. Ronan the accuser gains stalwart. Uh, hero action take two damage and deal yourself one face down counter card. Shuffle any universal weapon in the counter deck and this gives plus one scheme and plus one attack to Ronan and the boost ability is to attach this to Ronan. I'm using this token to represent the stalwart because it's easy to forget that it exists and you might put a stun or confuse onto the villain so might as well have, some, have a token uh, there to represent that those statuses can't be added to Ronan. The Kree ship is just an environment. It gives a extra encounter card for the first player. There is a first player interrupt. When a treachery card is revealed from the encounter deck, exhaust the Milano and spend one resource of any type. Cancel that card when revealed effects. So we are we can't get rid of this in, in any way so we are getting an extra encounter card for the first player each round but we have a way to remove that uh, revealed effect from that card if it's that kind of card and lastly we have the first player action exhausted the milana uh, remove three threat from the main scheme so milano can be used either to cancel the encounter cards or help us remove threat from the main scheme. That is uh, basically everything. Um, as I said, uh, this is a hard scenario. I haven't won this uh, in even after I think three tries and not even come close. So I'm just trying to play it out as long as possible to show you how the mechanics work and if I win I win. If I lose, I lose. I don't really care. I just want to demonstrate how the scenario works with the decks that come in the expansion. 
box. So we'll draw up our hand sizes. So I have, I've got a plan, a particle cannon, follow through, battery pack, looking for trouble and follow through. I think uh, we uh, really don't need to, I've got a plan. Well, uh, we could remove all of the threat with that, so I think I could keep it. Follow through, I don't feel like it's that important at the start. Particle cannon and battery pack is a good choice, so I'll discard these to draw three cards. Another follow through, rocket pistol and chase them down. Meanwhile, Groot gets following cards. So we get Desperate Defense, Indominable, Entangling Vines, I am Groot, Fighting Pit, I drew one too many cards, and the Power of Protection. So uh, we don't need the I am Groot at the start, not the Desperate Defense, because we are staying in Alter Ego. So I think I just Keep these two. We get the root stomp, strength, hard to ignore, and rocket raccoon. Okay, well, could have been a better build up hand, but it is what it is. We'll start with rocket raccoon. So, I think we are playing the particle cannon. I will use the Milano just to get rid of some threat first turn. So I'll play the rocket pack also. And so we have a rocket pack and the particle cannon in play. I'm just checking the resources I had. So one, two, three, and one. Yeah. Particle. Cannon comes into play with two charges and rocket pack with one. Uh, we can flip. I'll hit with rocket raccoon to remove the tough. And then I'll use the particle cannon to deal four damage to Ron. And uh, because. Yeah. We didn't use the Milano for anything. I'll use Milano to remove three threat from here. And that is all Rocket can do. Well, uh, I'll use the Rocket uh, battery pack to transfer one charge onto the particle cannon. Uh, we go to Groot, and Groot will add two growth counters. I'll use Rocket Raccoon to play hard to ignore. I'll use uh, Root. Stomp to play Entangling Voins and the Strength to play Indomitable. That is the whole turn. Uh, we ready up. Go to. Uh, we draw back to our hand sizes. So Groot gets Depth Focus, Desperate Defense, Hard to Ignore. I am Groot, Genius, and Dauntless. So some, something to build up next turn and maybe go to hero mode. And Rocket gets a Relentless Assault, Booster Boots, Relentless Assault and two hand cannons. So not that great. We go to the villain phase. We add two threat per player, so four and we go to five. Uh, Ronan attacks Rocket and I think I won't defend. Mm. Let's think. Um, if I defend, it's only one damage. Really doesn't matter. Uh, I'll just stay up and see what comes. So, 3 plus 1. So, even if we defended, we would have lost the power stone. So, we take uh, 4 damage. The, and uh, Ronan had an extra 
boost card because we had the power stone against Groot. Uh, Ronan only skims normally. So 2, 3, 4 plus 3 is 7. Well, uh, we are nearly in the second. So th yeah, th this is the problem. Um, Ronan just uh, schemes so much that we can't keep up with these decks. So uh, the, usually the way I lose this is to tread out or uh, lose one of the heroes early on for, from a random attack and then lose, but it is what it is. Uh, let's get the encounter cards. So Rocket gets two because of this Kree command ship. And we get the stand accused and we are in hero. So Ronan, the accuser attacks you with plus one attack and I probably would die. So I'll spend a resource and exhaust Milan. And uh, I'll ignore the when revealed hero effect of this card. And we get Kree uh, combat armor as the second card, so it's an attachment attached to the enemy with the highest attack. Reduce the amount of damage that said character takes from each attack by one hero action. Spend three resources of the same type. Discard this card. So I'll just put it over here. And again, as with the nebula. Uh, Scenario: There are so many cards that attach to Ronan, and there's so much to keep track of that these are not that simple as the previous scenarios we have seen. Okay, and uh, Groot gets built, so I'll just get rid of the builds by exhausting. And that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Groot is now the first player, and I think we'll get through growth counters. Unfortunately, we can't get any more. I'll use the desperate defense to play death focus, and uh, now I am debating if I want to. I am Groot to get rid of some of the threat, buy us some time. I think we have to uh, have to flip. Uh, Milano is exhausted, so we can't use that this turn as a resource. Uh, I'll use Dauntless to play hard to ignore. The retaliate is not that important as the hard to ignore. I'll use Death Focus and Genius. Hey, I am Groot, and uh, I'll remove four from here to uh, at least buy us a bit more time on this act. And I think that's all Groot can do. Be ready up. Uh, we don't ready up yet. Um, we go to Rocket. Uh, I think Rocket will do some. Mischief here. I'll play the uh, hand cannon. I'll keep the booster boots in hand. I'll uh, fire four damage on the Ronan and we deal three or more so we get the power stone. Then uh, tokens on the hand cannon. I uh, will still thwart for two rather than attack because. Uh, oh, yeah, um, pre combat armor. Let's see. So one damage less. Okay, so I nearly forgot that immediately. And uh, I think I'm taking a risk here by taking one. I'm taking 3 damage, just so that we can get rid of this um, 
on universal weapon, so we take two damage and deal uh, one haste on encounter card, uh, shuffle a universal weapon into the deck, encounter deck. So at least we have a bit less damage and ward coming from Ronan for a while. Okay, and uh, Rocket will go to Alter Ego to deal next turn. I'll use the uh, battery pack to charge this. And I'll discard the battery pack to draw two cards. And uh, I'll use this to play the booster boots. Keep this in hand. And that is our whole turn. Are we ready up? We have a genius, rocket's pistol, reload. Strength, cybernetic skeleton, and I've got a ban on rocket. And Groot has Dauntless, the power of protection, indomitable vision, and I am Groot. Okay, some way to get rid of the threat if we manage to keep the threat into the current agenda or the current act. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. So, um, let's see, Ronan Accuser is attacking Groot, uh, Groot will just defend, and Groot defends for uh, 3, so 2 plus 2 is 4, we lose 1 growth counter, take no damage, so, oh yeah, uh, I'll use the heart to ignore, so we added 4 and now we remove 2, so we just add 2, so we are at 10. So depending on, hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can stay in alter in this act, but uh, even as Ronan is just mm, scheming, the, it's an activation, so we get an extra boost card for this uh, scheming. This should be ready, by the way. And uh, we get two, so it's two plus. Okay, so this didn't do anything, but this is enough. So we get four, so this unfortunately advances. Okay. And that's the power stone to Ronan, the accuser. If it's already attached to him, give him one paste on boost card. Well, it isn't, so we just add it here. Then we have a threshold of 10 per player, so 20. And uh, while the power stone is attached to Ronan, the accuser, threat cannot be removed from this scheme. And if this stage is completed, the players lose the game. So um, we advanced. Nothing we can do about that, but it only comes into play with two, and now we have a whole turn to stabilize before threats gets added to that, unless we hit some um, nasty counter cards. And speaking of counter cards, mm. yeah, I deal an extra. So Rocket has an extra. Uh, I should only have two on both. I think if I messed up, I messed up, but <laughs> it really doesn't matter. This is hard enough, off, uh, hard enough as it is. And uh, let's see. So advance. Uh, that sucks. So three plus one is four. And the second one is uh, Power Siphon, uh, Exhaust Milano, spend two resources, discard one card, I think I'll have to remove the, yeah I'll just Exhaust Milano, because now we can't even Uh, use Milano to remove the threats from the main scheme. And uh, Rocket's cards are Crisis of... Yeah, Rocket should be readied. So Crisis of Halford, we 
just get rid of it. And uh, Cree Private Big Strike, 1-1, one, one, 5 health. Uh, nothing special about that. So, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Groot is the first player. Unfortunately, Groot is hurting quite badly. Uh, he could risk going to Alter Ego. Uh, I mean hero, because he can indomitable next turn with Groot to um, stay healthy with Rocket or healthier. Okay, I think that's our plan, so I'll use the strength to play the Cybernetic Skeleton. So we get uh, 3 health and plus 1 attack. This should be ready also. I think we can deal at least some damage. So I'm uh, discarding this hand cannon to draw two cards. I'll use uh, chase. No, I'll use the Groot ally card to play Rocket's pistol. I'll go to Hero, I'll use Rocket's Pistol uh, to shoot at this Kree Private. Then I will use the Particle Cannon to deal 4 damage there, which will defeat it, and we overkill by 1. And we get to draw a card. Murder to you ability. So we get into the fray uh, a bit late, but it is what it is. But we'll still chase them down to remove a few threats from here. So we are at four threat on the main scheme, still in some control. And uh, I think we will uh, reload. So we ready to stack upgrade. And we will deal some more damage onto Ronan. So six damage. And uh, hmm. I'm keeping these for next turn, just in case. Uh, so we have something to deal uh, with an enemy. We'll go to Groot. Uh, I'll fruition for to get to here. I will play. I'm Groot. The don't just, I'll use the Death's Focus to play the I am Groot, so we'll remove all of the threat from here. And uh, I think that is what we can do. So we're ready up. Uh, we have the Dauntless in hand, so we only get four more cards. We get uh, Wine Spikes. Birds are ground. Oh yeah, and rocket dealt four damage. Uh, yeah, I again dealt. Uh, forgot about this. So do we have a? Don't have the same coins. So unfortunately, those won't work. Remove that. Okay, so I'll just add a few damage back. So uh, the overkill was ignored and uh, two attacks after that. Something 
like this. Well, might be wrong, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, so Rocket gets two cards. I'm keeping it also. Ready up. Okay, and uh, we got the villain phase. We had two threats to the main scheme. Uh, Ronan is attacking Rocket. Uh, Groot will defend. Okay, so. Again, um, when Ronan is activating, we get an extra boost card, but Groot is defending, so do we get the extra boost card? If you know, let me know in the comments, but I'm playing that uh, because the activation started against the Power Stone. Uh, we are already getting the extra boost card, so I'll play it like so. And uh, we are defending, so Ronan is hitting for 2 plus... Oh yeah. I couldn't uh, play the... So much to remember, so I couldn't play the chase them down, but uh, I tried to play it, let's say. So I'll add two here, but uh, I only removed four with Groot's ability, and we, the Power Stone was already on Rocket, so I will just add one here. And then we add four at the start, okay, so we're at seven, so uh, we get an additional boost card. Plus three, so four, five, six, minus three. Okay, we don't take any damage. We remove two with the heart to ignore. And also, we use the indomitable already. Okay, I think we, we are now in the correct order of things. Ronan attacks good. I will defend and uh, 2 plus 2 is 4 and we lose 1 counter here and that is it. We get the encounter card. So Rocket gets uh, you stand accused. Ronan attacks the accuser. I will use Milano and spend a resource to ignore that. <laughs> and unfortunately, uh, we get shadows of the best. That's that really sucks. Okay, we get uh, blackjack O'Hare and the vendetta nemesis side scheme, and the side scheme comes into play with four gives a. Uh, Boost, boost icon. Try and remember that. And Blackjack has the quick strike and Villanus, so it's gonna hit. It's gonna hit hard, but it is what it is. So Blackjack hits for I'll. Uh, I won't defend, so 1 plus 1 is 2, and we'll use the rocket boots to ignore one of the damage. We lose the rocket launcher, so we only take 1 damage. But still, so annoying, and uh, plus 1, okay. Immediately forgetting the boost boost icon, so we do one, one more damage. Then uh, Groot's card is gang up, so the villain and each minion engage with you attacks you. Well, only Ronan attacks uh, 2 plus 1. So 3, and uh, we unfortunately take a couple of damages too. Nothing we can do about that. Well, uh, that was the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Uh, Groot becomes the first player. And 
unfortunately we are out of uh, growth counters. So we really can't do that much. I think I'll play the Fertile Ground. I'll play Dauntless or... Yeah, I'll play the Dauntless and Death Focus. I'll play the Vine Spikes. I have to go to Alter Ego to get some healing done. So that all of my cars that require healing can work. Okay, uh, Blackjack O'Hare is still here, so I think we are into the praying Blackjack O'Hare. I will use the strength and hard. No, I, I need. I don't have enough resources to play. I'll get a card. Uh, if I can play, I've got a plan. So, we'll. Uh, we'll get 6 damage here. So, 3 damage goes through. So, only 2 damage goes through. But we'll draw a card with. Uh, rocket's ability. And we'll play the. I've got a plan. I will thwart for 2 and thwart for 3. Remove everything from here and go to Alter Ego. And when we play the uh, Salvage, I'll put something. Uh, battery pack is a good one. So we can charge the particle cannon. And that is the whole turn. Uh, we're ready up. This is uh, actually going better than. Oh, yeah, I forgot to use this one. Uh, I'll use it as a call to action. So we get the vine shield in the hand. And then we ready. Fighting feet, uh, death focus, another fighting feet. Hard to ignore, Root Stomp and Vine Shield. Then uh, we have six cards for Groot, uh, the Rocket. One more. Okay, we have a uh, Shard and Freude, the Battery Pack. Uh, salvage, looking for trouble into the fray and booster boots. So next turn we can heal when we flip back to hero mode. And uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add four threat, uh, two threats here. Ronan schemes against Groot, uh, two plus uh, two. Not an attack, so four. Then against rocket, so additional boost card, and we get uh, two, five, six. Already at twelve from zero. Encounter cards. Oh yeah, and. Add to because I forgot the Vendetta was in play. Root gets uh, fanatism, so it just comes into play. Searches, assault, searches. Uh, cut. I'll actually. Yeah, I already revealed this so. Put that into play with six threads, and uh, this is uh, starting to be the end of the game because now we have to get rid of that before we can remove threats from the main scheme. Last card is Kree Commando, and it has patrol, so I can't even thwart the main the main scheme with root. Then uh, Rocket gets. Blackjack's Bazooka, that's the Blackjack of Hair if you cannot attach to the villain, so it attaches to Ronan. So Ronan has a Bazooka, how great is that? Mm. 
that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So I, I'm pretty sure this is the <laughs> last round, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, maybe we can get something at least done. So Groot will add two growth counters here. Oh yeah, uh, we are starting with Rocket. Rocket is the first player. So I'll be playing uh, Freude as a hero action with that. I'll play the battery pack. And, uh, I'll discard... Well, I'll play the battery pack now. I'll spend the battery pack to charge here. I'll discard the battery pack to draw two cards. Okay, uh, we can get a quite big turn. So I'll uh, play the roster boots. And uh, we have these and these. Okay, so I'll flip. I'll play Schadenfreude. So now I heal two every time I deal damage with uh, rockets. And because I used salvage, I'll get the battery back up, back up, back on top of my deck. And. Uh, just notice that uh, let's forget about the reload. Take that. Yeah, uh, I forgot I don't have that many charges on these things, so. Well, it is what it is. I already up a bit so mm, we can't even go uh, we could go looking no we could not go looking for trouble because the, got the power is in play do we have anything to remove the cut the power no root can remove one growth counter and uh, use the points to remove a tree okay so if we get three remove Oh yeah, we have the trust reboot, so I'll um, port here. Then I will um, use rocket pistol and the uh, particle cannon to kill off this guy. And heal four with the shard and And uh, We didn't overkill. I could have gotten a card, but no. Okay. We'll got Groot. Uh, Groot will get a road counters and then use the fertile crown and fruition. Okay, well, something might be happening now. We'll flip. I will spend one growth counter to use entangling vines to get plus two four to remove this one. Then I will use death focus and uh, vine shield. No, uh, death focus from hand to play root stomp to deal five damage here. And uh, I'll use three. Uh, before that, I'll use three same kinds to remove this. So we actually deal the five damage. And already, I think the scoreboard is not in play. And this has the fanatism has uh, 
fury counters, which will make uh, Ronan's attacks. Uh, let's look at it closer. So, fanatism attacks for Ronan the accuser, uses one fury counter plus one per player, and uh, forces interrupt when Ronan accuser attacks you. That attack gains overkill and piercing at the end of the attack. Remove one count fury counter from here. So. Remove, uh, remember that. Okay, and we have the one shield in hand. And we didn't heal. Well, it really doesn't matter the fighting fits, we didn't even play, so at least we got rid of the uh, side scheme. Uh, we ready up. Fauna, battery pack times two, reload and looking for trouble, so we could get quite a lot of damage from rocket if we survived the next round. We'll see. And uh, dauntless root stomp energy for fauna wine shield. So this is the <laughs> maybe the turning point if we don't lose. Let's see how it goes. Mm, we add four to the main scheme. Uh, I mean two. Ronan attacks Rocket. I will defend with Groot. So again, I'm not sure if we get the two power, um, two cars from the activation, but we do now. And uh, against piercing doesn't against overkill doesn't. Uh, contribute anyway. So uh, plus three, plus two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, minus three, so seven. Okay, we lost <laughs> all of our growth, but we didn't take any damage, so too hard to ignore. Trigger at least. And then uh, uh, Ronan attacks against Groot. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven. Groot has one health remaining, so we are pretty much dead with Groot. <laughs> Encounter cards. Rocket gets two. Let's see what they are. So, single minded fury. Ronan, the accuser, attacks the player who controls the power stone, so Rocket. And uh, I think I'll. Use the lawn and get rid of um, for trouble to cancel this one. Okay, <laughs> and the same one. So, uh, uh, this is bad because now, if we lose, because we lose the power stone, uh, we can't remove threat from the main scheme. So that is the beginning of the end. I'll have to defend and hope hope for the best. So two uh, cards, one, and this attached to. Okay, so plus one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, minus two, so six. Okay. And we lose the power stone. I just put it over here. And uh, we lost a couple of those. Roots card is uh, superior tactics. The power stone can be unattached from Ronan the Accuser. When revealed, attach the power stone to Ronan the Accuser. If already attached to him, place one per player threat here. So get six threat on this scheme uh, yeah uh, we are running 
out of room on this card. Okay, and that is the <laughs> villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Root is our first player. Mm -hmm. Nothing much we can do. I think just to see the Ronan's second phase, I'll play Flora and Fauna to put two counters onto Particle Cannon and I will uh, yeah, I'll just uh, use Root Stomp to deal 5 here And that is our turn with Groot. Go to Rocket. Uh, Rocket will... Uh, flora and Fauna. Put two counters here. Then I will use the pistol to shoot two here. Then I'll use the particle cannon to shoot four here. Will steal the power stone. Then I will play reload. Shoot two here. And we advance to phase two. Toughness. And search the encounter deck and discard part for cut the power size scheme and reveal it. Shuffle. Uh, was here. Get to cut the power. Just place it over here. It comes into play with uh, six threads. And Ronan has 18 per player, so 36. And tough. Oh yeah, and uh, we have the stalwart again. Okay, uh, particle cannon, the tough. Might as well. And that is all we can do. Uh, let's just draw back up to our hand sizes. Uh, Groot gets an extra encounter card. Mm. Uh, there is a slight chance to survive by going to Alter Ego, so I'll do that. If we... Uh, well, there, there really isn't any chance, because we get uh, 2 plus uh, 3 times 2. Yeah, so we are threatening out no matter what we do, and we can't even remove the threat from the main scheme at this point. Oh, we might as well just die. Okay, and uh, Rocket gets two cards and an extra counter card. We get an acceleration token. And uh, ready up everything. Okay, let's see. Um, Ronan attacks Groot. Groot will defend. Oh uh, yeah. We still need to shuffle these. Uh, first we add four uh, two threats here. Uh, three. So we are at 17 threats on the main scheme, and we even can't even remove that, so <laughs> not looking that great. Uh, so um, we get the boost card, it is uh, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven, eight, nine. We defend for three, so six damage and gold is defeated. Then Ronan attacks Rocket Raccoon, who will defend. And because we have the Power Stone, we'll. Oh, yeah, uh, the Power Stone should be on here because we can't remove it. So I messed that up earlier. No matter, uh, we'll die with Rocket to take uh, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 the damage from Ronan's one single attack. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that is the galaxy's most wanted uh, Ronan the Accuser scenario on standard difficulty. Yeah, you heard me right. It's standard. And these are the pre built decks. And this is just an insane encounter on standard compared to what we experienced before. So my initial thoughts were that uh, at least we're getting some more challenge in uh, these scenarios, that they are not that um, walkthroughs as the Rise of Red Skull box encounters on standard. Unfortunately, they up the difficulty way too high on these, at least on the last three encounters uh, or scenarios in this box. So uh, the escape from the museum is quite tough. It, I think it's doable with multiple tries with these pre-built decks, but still quite hard. Uh, Nebula is really hard and this feels impossible. Uh, I had a great table set up, full health, whatever, but in a couple of turns, the board state went to this, so yeah. Uh, pretty interesting to see how these uh, scenarios go when I do some deck building. And as you saw, I'm, I was playing these as two-handed, just because when I was first uh, playing the earlier scenarios in this uh, campaign, the three first ones, I was playing on true solo and it just felt really uh, not fun on true solo because you were constantly losing on threading out because the threat uh, threat levels on the main scheme started so high and the threshold was so low and you were just constantly threading out. But yeah, still I'm enjoying that uh, there is a difficulty increase in this game but maybe not this much, please a bit tone it down for the next uh, scenarios. Or uh, as someone mentioned on Facebook's uh, Marvel Champion community group, um, it might be that we haven't seen the whole cycle of the Guardians yet. So we'll have to wait for those hero packs to come out and see what kind of uh, deck building we can do with those new cards. So if, if those really combo well together, as I think they will, uh, the scenarios might be more manageable with those kind of cars, but we'll see in due time. And I'm in no way annoyed that there is a high, higher difficulty. Now I don't have to play expert or heroic to have a good time. I'm really enjoying even uh, getting beaten up as I have played a lot of Arkham Horror, so losing Scenarios is not that big of a deal for me. The uh, the highs are even higher when the lows are low, so so to speak. But anyway, I really want to thank you all for watching, and until next time.